It's Saturday, July 20th, 7-11, here in Norfolk, Virginia. On my way to the beach to pick up trash. Oh, that was a good bag. Oh, that's it recording. Now look both ways before crossing the street, kids. Not safe. Even though there's a crosswalk. Seven eighteen. Last week I went that way. This week I'm gonna go this way. Today's a couple of organized pickups. Like in a couple hours, it's gonna be one about a half a mile or so that way. About two miles this way is another organized cleanup. So I'm gonna fill the gap between that cleanup and here. Uh, if I meet up with that crew, fine. If not, that's fine too. But I probably won't walk two miles, maybe a mile and a half. It is supposed to rain again today. I had the foresight today to put a towel at the back door. Last week I had to have my wife bring a towel to me because I was soaked, soaked from the rain I got caught in last week. You know what? Cigarette butt. I saw one of my neighbors that I was hanging out with last night for drinks on the beach and she said it's not that bad out here today. And so far she's right. Eh, as a kid's toy. I don't think I'll throw that away. But I'll try to keep it from going in the water. But this, it's got to go. The last time I checked, I had 51 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe. Stop my video on accident. This is me off. They begin to stitch it together on my computer. I'm learning new skills. This YouTube stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Plastic no good. Pick it up trash. I just had a little talk with this couple that was walking on the beach here. They're tourists from out of town and they're asking me, are you doing research? I'm like, no, I'm just picking up trash. <laughs> so they had a nice little conversation. Yeah, they're they're vacationing here and this is the first time here and they said, yeah, this is nice. I'm, we're gonna be back for sure. So that's kind of good to hear. Uh, the word's getting out about about this little this little beach here in Norfolk, about how how nice it is, all the potential that's there, and how much better it can be. Uh, all of us that live here know that. So, if you don't like the big touristy scene at the beach, with where you pay twenty dollars to park everywhere you go and overpriced touristy restaurants, this is a nice nice place to come vacation for sure. When I first started doing this, I just started out picking up these rocks for our rock garden around the house because they have really cool rocks here that's kind of polished by the sea. But uh, kind of like, hey, I'm, I'm picking up rocks. I see all this trash. I may as well pick up trash anyway. That's kind of how I kind of started doing this. Uh, so, And before that, sometimes when I run, when I think about it, I put a plastic bag in my pocket. I cool down post-run uh, walk when I'm cooling down and... I would pick up trash and try to fill up that bag or get as much trash as I can in that little shopping bag and th throw it all away. I mean, these plastic bags that you get from the grocery store, they're going to be thrown away anyway. My goal is to fill it up with trash before I throw it away. So what I ask people to do is like when they come to the beach or you go walk your dog or you go for a jog, just put one of those plastic bags that you get at the grocery store at Walmart, wherever you go to buy your goods and service your goods. Just grab one of those bags and... and just, just keep them in your pantry, put them in your pocket, and then try to put trash in it before you throw it away. Instead of just throwing away an empty bag. Yeah, the bag I'm using right now is from the NEX, the Navy Exchange. So, bags like that. And I got a couple of kitchen bags in case I run out of the shopping bags. It's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of frustrating when you fill up those little shopping bags and you're like, oh, I still see trash everywhere. I'd pick it up, but I have nothing to put it in. So, so my suggestion is just to, uh, when you go to the beach, just try to pick up a few things around you, leave with more than you brought, bring a bag like that, and put something in there before you throw, throw, throw the bag away. If everybody did that, imagine how clean everything would be. And this, and this is not a bad day. This is not too bad. Like, I'm really looking for these little pieces of plastic and stuff. But this part of the beach is mostly at homeowners, people that live here. There's not a lot of public parking over here, so it tends to be a lot cleaner than where there's the public access, there's the public parking, things like that. So if you're uh, coming here and using one of the public beaches, just be considerate. And if you can actually pick up more than you brought, you get bonus points. There we go. That's the trash people emptying those trash cans. I think they come here every morning. I don't know about Sundays, but pretty much every morning they're out here. I just felt the drop of rain. But I came prepared this time. I wore my bathing suit. I have a towel at the back door. Last week, my wife had to bring me a towel because I was soaked after last week's rainstorms. What is that red thing? Some really big, big piece of plastic. Oh, da, 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 da.
Time check, 8.09. It's starting to drizzle for shizzle. Plastic. Cigarette butt. Plastico, no bueno. Oh lordy, look at that plastic. Oh lordy. There's my turnaround point, Grove Avenue. I'm turning around, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. I've already been out here for over an hour. I anticipate it being probably at least an hour and a half to go back. I came on the water. I'm gonna go back on the soft sand. And usually I find more trash in the soft sand than I do on the water line. So I expect to get at least this bag filled and probably have a second bag filled before I get home. We'll see. If I see it, I grab it. I grab it like I want it. There's not too many people out here today. Usually I get pulled in about four different conversations by now. I think because I know when I went to bed last night, I didn't expect to be out here. I thought it was going to be rainy. I thought it was going to be nasty weather. That's what's been in the forecast. It is going to rain today, but it looks like it's going to hold off the heavier raining for a couple hours. So that's kind of a good thing. There's that orange toy I threw into the sand earlier from the beach. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I organize beach cleanups sometimes. I participate in beach cleanups from Keep Norfolk Beautiful, KMB. Hashtag KMB. And uh, one of the, the metric they use to measure how much trash you pick up is weight. And as you can see, what I pick up, I don't think that's a good metric to use necessarily. I think maybe number of items, how much plastic. Like this right here. This don't weigh anything, but it's horrible, horrible for the sea life and the environment in general. That plastic creates microplastics. And if you've never seen the Netflix documentary Sea Spiracy, highly recommend it. There's also some new stories from 60 Minutes about what plastics are doing to the ocean. So good to check it out. If you don't know, you don't know. But get that knowledge so you know. And then maybe you'll be a little more passionate about what's on the ground, what's in the ocean, than you are. I don't even necessarily know if cigarette butts are bad for the environment, but I don't know. I pick them up. I see them. I pick them up anyway. People throw them down like they're not, so maybe they're not, but I pick them up. But plastic, I know, is no bueno. Plastico, no bueno. Well, did somebody bring their horse out here? What the hell? Ooh, another bag. That's reusable. 7 Eleven, thank you very much. Oh, thank heaven. What the heck is that guy doing? So these take their samples. I have two ah uh, ah uh, two cigarette butt ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. three cigarette butt ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. mm -hmm. Nope, that's not trash, this is the shell. It's 16 days past July 4th, and these are firework remnants from the July 4th weekend. Oh, that's a kid's toy. I'll leave it.
I'm really kind of impressed with how good it looks out here. I still haven't finished filling up this one NEX bag. It is time check 901. So I've been here for almost two hours. But let's see. Ooh. I bet those beaches, man, they look good today. I'm mean, really encouraged. Really encouraged. After holiday weekends like 4th of July, you're like, ugh, is this ever going to end? What the hell is that? I guess that could be. That's like some kind of string mix mixed up in there. Just had a wonderful conversation with Ken Paulson. He is running for school board here in Norfolk. So uh, election is in November. He's just out meeting and greeting and handing out his card, getting to know people. Back to picking up trash. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Seems like the rain's holding off now. It's not stopped drizzling. It's starting to clear up a little bit. More firework paraphernalia, it seems, I think. really turned overcast but it doesn't seem like it's gonna rain anymore at least for now it's gonna rain but it's not gonna rain anytime in the next hour or so I don't think more firework paraphernalia and candy wrapper firework paraphernalia My Corona. check almost 10 o'clock not trash but this is trash and this is trash
Firework. I'm about to leave the beach. This is how much I picked up. Just this one bag. Didn't even completely fill it. It's pretty good. I got some rocks. Got a pair of swim goggles. A lot of unused bags. So I'm about to go leave the beach. This is what I got. Leaving the beach now. Still picking up trash on the way out. Time check 1016. So I've been out here over three hours. Straw. Plastic straw. How's it supposed to go? Leaving the beach. What's that? Zip tie. Let's see if I can fit my hand through here. Urgh. Oh, this might be the most interesting item of the day. Uh, Maxi pad. This is the farmer's market that happens here at Bay Oaks Park every Saturday during the summer, weather permitting. Today the weather's holding off. The classic donut truck over there, the line is always really long. There's always like 50, 60 people waiting in that line for those awesome donuts. It's like the best donuts in the area. Classic donuts. Check them out on social media. They're uh, different places at different days. I know on Wednesday mornings they're at Cova. Saturday mornings during the summer they're here at Bay Oaks Park at the farmer's market. This plastic right here will go into the drain and wind up in the bay if we don't clean it up before it gets to that point. So that's why I even picked this stuff up here too. Plus it keeps the drain from clogging. We have flood issues here in this area in Norfolk. Uh, one more thing about the farmer's market. It's very crowded to park right here. I suggest you park on the far side over there where like Pretty Lake Pleasant, there's like a parking lot back over that way where it's not so congested because right here on 5th Bay and even up here on 6th Bay where I'm walking towards, the parking is uh, impossible. It's like only one car can fit between the parked cars and there's a, a movement in my neighborhood here to like change that to like one side of the street only parking. So it's going to be probably changed here, but bureaucracy takes a while, so, but eventually... Inshallah, 
the rules will be changed and parking will only be allowed on one side of the street because it is really congested for the locals trying to get in and out of there. And also, what if an emergency vehicle needs to get there? There's no room, no room whatsoever. It's a big concern there. And even on the non-farmers market days, there's concerns that school buses often cannot go on those streets because there's people parked on each side, parallel parked against the curb, and it doesn't give enough room for the school bus to make it through. So it makes it difficult. Ooh, somebody thought we get a wreck there. Yeah, it looks like I should have focused on the freaking neighborhood more than the beach. Which is encouraging. It's kind of discouraging to see a lot of litter at the beach. So it's encouraging to see that it wasn't that bad today. We got ants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 